멍게, 낙지. This place, it's full of amazing food. Amazing seafood in the winter time. We're gonna get tongogui, uh, hanyo. It's been a long time coming. This is a foodie area for sure. Winter is slowly coming to an end. And with it, the best season for seafood will also come to a close. But there's one region of Korea that Courtney and I have yet to explore. And we heard from a local that this region may have some of the best and most unique seafood dishes in Korea. Gijang is a rural Busan county known for its fishing villages and seafood-driven economy. Traditional Hanyo divers serve fresh foraged coastal catches out of tents, and restaurants provide a huge spread of raw fish and unique food. And winter time is the perfect time to explore these incredible seasonal dishes. Courtney and I start our seafood journey at Mijong Shikdang, a long standing restaurant specializing in Angjanggu Bap. So, what is Angjanggu Bap anyway? I thought sea urchin was called songe in Korean. Well, in Gyeongsangnam-do specifically, they eat a certain kind of sea urchin, which produces roe between late October and the end of February. The color is bright orange and the taste is a little bit bitter. But here, they mix the roe with rice and serve a local gijang dish called angjanggubap. And Mijong Shikdang is a long-standing matchup specializing in this local and seasonal food. I didn't even know they made kom chong all like this. I don't want to touch it because it's so beautiful. <laughs> I wonder what this sauce is. The sauce looks really cool. It's amazing. It's like food I've never had before. Courtney, what are we, what are we eating today? This is Courtney's pick. Always good. It's actually uh, it's called ajanggu, ajanggu, which is the Korean or the Busan dialect for songe, bibimbap, which right now is in season. It produces eggs now. Sea urchin, sea urchin in English. Sea urchin. I love songe, although I should call it an anjanggu. I love anjanggu with bibimbap. It almost has a cheesiness. If you eat it plain, it's a little bitter. It's bitter, but I can get it mixed. Yeah, just eat it hot, so it's really bitter. But when it's mixed up, it's really Yeah. Wow. Look at that. It gets this cheesy consistency when you mix it with rice. I've had this once before in <clears> Tongyo <throat> while you were in America. It's really good. Oh, it's a texture thing. It's like eating cheese, like melted cheese. Super thick, super rich, bitter. Man, this is <laughs> this is good food. So this is the first time I've ever seen this, and I didn't even know they did kumchongo this way. But it comes with a little bit of kumchongo jelly. <clears throat> I forget what she called it. I'm not gonna lie, this stuff does not look appetizing <laughs> at all. But the plate is beautiful. I'm gonna try it. I'm excited. Oh man, guys, I don't know about this. I love kumchongo, but this is the first time having kumchongo jelly. It looks wicked. <laughs> Shit. It's a little slippery. 
Have you guys ever eaten this before? This is my first time. I get excited when I see stuff for the first time. All right, this will be a beautiful bite though, I think. It's basically like komchongo head cheese. Komchongo, uh, what do they call it? Pyongyu. Pyongyu. The actual jelly is just quite flavorless, but the sauce they give it with is really good. Like homemade special sauce. That's that's not chojang. It's a little sweet. Really good. And you can make little gim wraps with the songe bibimbap with the ah janggu bibimbap. Briny and bitter, but it's really good. I like it. Just make a little gimbap and then dip it in some sauce. Mmm. Really, really good. The closest thing I can talk about the consistency is the cheese. Is that it tastes like cheese to me? Consistency. Consistency of cheese. It's like if you threw melted American cheese slices into rice, this is the texture you would get. And I don't understand how it gets that texture. It's so good. But then it's kind of peanutty, almost peanutty. Like. It has a, there's like a creamy it tastes like peanuts to me. It doesn't taste too fishy. It tastes like the ocean, but like in a really subtle mm. way. This is incredible. This is really good. This, I think they have a little jug. Some kind of jug to dip it in as well. Oh. Wow. Mm. It's good stuff, guys. Wow. The coast of Gijong is absolutely beautiful with places to relax. But it's snack time. And Gijang is also famous for a thriving Hanyo diver culture. Hanyo are traditional women freedivers dating back to the 17th century who dive into the sea to gather and forage for fresh seafood. These tough women are most famous on Jeju Island, but Gijang is also home to a thriving Hanyo community. The Gijang Hemul Pochang Matcha Zone, you can see several tents selling their freshly gathered catch along the seaside. and I came to the Gijang Hanyo Zone. This area we're in is extremely famous for hue and seafood. It's kind of, you always hear of Hanyo in Jeju, but even in this part of Busan, there's lots and lots of Hanyo divers. Onge, nachi. Meal is in season. We got Sora, Jumbo, Nakchi, Joge, Hesam, Kebu. This is the Hanyo spread. All right, I'm gonna try some Munge first. So bitter. So bitter. Some soda. Mm. 
Ah, soy is like sweet. This milk is beautiful. Right now, milk is in season down here. Of course, we got some sanakchi. That one really stuck to my mouth. Hey, Sam. The yeah, hensham is like the craziest texture ever. Wow, the chumbuk's still moving. It's crazy. I love it. The seafood's so fresh, still is moving. I love the milk. Like, milk's in season now, and I love that they just give you a big plate of it. I really like it. It has such a nice, fresh, refreshing taste. Mm. Mm. This is really good today. It's not too bitter today. Mm. It must be like in season. I think it's bitter in the summertime. It's like the initial taste is good, but then it gets really bitter. Mm -hmm. It's so complex. <laughs> We got tombok juk. This is basically rice porridge with abalone. Also a very famous Haneo dish for sure. Mm. I mean it is cool that you get like a little bit of everything. Yeah. It's so funny because Sora is my favorite cooked. Chumbok mm. also I prefer cooked. Chumbok, like when it gets real soft, you use oil and butter. Like this in the Chumbok is like chicken almost. This is ugly delicious for sure. This yeah. looks so ugly. <laughs> it's like the ugliest food. But it tastes really good. And this juke is good quality. You can see it's very thick. It looked a little watery when she brought it out, but it's fresh. It's like chunky snot, yeah. but tastes it tastes good. like... It tastes like chicken soup. Yeah, like buttery. Porridge. It's like, it's weirdly buttery. Yeah. Which, I mean, you want to think, because I'm sure that there's no butter in it. Just that, like, the texture is so pleasant too, which is hard with juke because our friend is our friend runs a juke restaurant. And she says it's really hard to make this texture, but it's almost like pudding. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's not it's not watery. Some sometimes like juke gets watery. Cause they don't stir it. It's like enough. either watery or the rice isn't like fully mm -hmm. cooked through, and it's, it's yeah. kind of like crunchy. Yeah, it's good. Good texture. It's really good. good. Mm. Mm. The the hay for me here, of course, is it's just kind of like standard. Cause I've had it. It's Jeju, I've had it. Busan. And it's, you know, it's awesome because it's these products pulled directly from the Korean Ocean. It's not like, you can't make it special because it's just, it is what it is. But this juke is really good. Very high quality. Yeah. It's a little addictive. Keep going. Mm. Guys, this pot of juke is huge. Look at this. I'm not gonna drop it. Wow. Well, milk is so good. I've actually never really had raw milk. I've only had milk. Ooh. And this is really good. And I can't imagine the health benefits of eating this. Probably extremely healthy. Ariel. 
In English, is this called kelp? I don't know the names. <laughs> I think it's kelp, right? The texture is perfect in this juice. Skill. It takes skill to do this. Mm. So I want to eat and take a nap. It's very warming. Mm. Tastes so buttery, nutty. Mm. That was a good lunch.